to art would be trying to fence the universe. Imagination is free and expresses itself in a variety of forms and ways that cannot be contained but that often undergo judgment and constraints due to convention and prejudice. History teaches us that often many characters from the arts of literature have had to confront a system. Many artists were misunderstood, many were marginalized and sometimes tried to victim, only to be rehabilitated after their death. There were many social, political and above all religious constraints that did not allow artists to express themselves freely. Just think of artists like uh, intellectual or thinkers like Socrates, Galileo, Goya, Oscar Wilde, Pasolini or Caravaggio. Caravaggio was not, not only a revolutionary, but with his work he paved the way to modernity in painting. The, subver the subversive freedom of Caravaggio is present in all his works, but sacred and profane. Also because this way of working is the result of a life lived always to the limits, full of excesses, violence and even homicides. Not by chance, he was labeled as cursed genius. In the late 16th and 17th centuries, during the years of great religious pressure by the Catholic Church, Caravaggio distorted iconographies to a disconcerting realism where light and shadow are the absolute protagonists. Basically, his freedom was that of hearing a donate death equation beautiful equals good, ugly equals bad, that had been the canon of painting. Being so unique and because of the attractive power of the canvases, it has always been one of the most beloved artists, even by sculptors. Hence, the idea of the project Baroque Terebrism to Ultra Bones, which was born to involve pupils to experiment art through active and immediate experience. The experience of the tableau, the living paintings that come to life, offered pupils the opportunity to observe art from within, amplifying emotions being projected into the paintings. The period chosen was the Italian 17th century, rich in contradictions through the human and artistic experience of Michelangelo Merisi, also known as Caravaggio. Besides the simple observation, the students themselves have learned to renounce their expressiveness, becoming actors on a stage. The methodology was that of learning by doing where the goal is not to produce a faithful copy of the work, but to discover it through practical activities. They have understood how free Caravaggio was when he used as a model a dead prostitute drowned in the Tiber River to portray the Madonna in the painting The Death of the Virgin, with the absence of the decorum that had always existed for sacred paintings. His being free from schemes and conventions allowed him to overturn the point of view. The presence of God must be searched among the humblest people, the outcasts, among the poor, not the respectful ones, but the sinners and the marginalized. If you want, you can continue with the video and uh, the project, the video of the project, until the end. Otherwise, you can skip it.